This video is on marking unusually shaped objects, mostly like pipes around objects. So, for example, we'll start out with this piece of plastic uh, sewer pipe. I want to make a nice straight line down it. So how do you do that? Well, uh, what I did is I get a piece of angle iron like this. Set it firmly up underneath there, underneath the pipe, up against a nice straight wall. Step on it to take any curve out of the pipe and just run your marker along it and you've got your line. Another thing that I've always uh, found difficult was uh, where to, how to make a mark exactly opposite of another one on a pipe. And I, I've got friends who can eyeball it. I've seen them use a ruler across here to try to find the, the biggest distance and all that, but I'm no good at it, to be honest. So uh, when I need something exactly opposite, I want it exactly opposite. So what I've found is I can do this. And what I do is I set it roughly about one quarter of the distance and I make a mark right here like this and I make a mark on this side and can't really see these very well but here is one mark and I make another mark right here without moving the without moving the compass and I take it on this other mark I made and make it here and what happens is, right here is where they cross. And it's exactly opposite of that mark. And it works every time. So, um, yeah, so that's my second one. This is a very fast trick to get a mark exactly opposite of another one on a pipe. This is another thing where I'm always trying to find the center of something where I, so I can drill it or whatever, like a pipe cap. And this one doesn't really have a nice little thing. A lot of times you may see a machining mark or a casting mark or something where the center is, and this one doesn't have one. So what I do is I start out by putting a piece of duct tape around the outside. You can use other types of tape, but duct tape works. You uh, get a compass and you set it roughly to where you think the center of it might be, and you make a mark. You move it over a little bit, make another mark, move it over a little bit, make another mark, and you just keep going around. As you can see, I'm already starting to get a pretty good center mark. Uh, just keep going around it, and there's my center mark right there. <laughs> 